Now you usually want to get sent a new item of tackle, I don't have that much time to spend with each of them, that's not the case with this one. I'm currently on day four of a five day session at Stanwick Lakes and so I'm into my fourth night staying in this tonight and it's a very comfortable stay indeed. It's a brolly style system, so easy to put up very, very quick. You'll see from the clips from on Monday when I was setting this up, it took no time at all to put the main structure up. A couple of poles to hold it in place and I use it as an open fronted day shelter for the first night. The rain was then meant to come in on Wednesday and it did indeed. So I put the door on the night before, just before uh, it all came in and that went on really quickly. But note to oneself in the future or anyone else, don't leave your can of cider on the roof because it will fall off and you'll be very upset when it pours all the way down your swim. And moving on to the inside of the shelter, proof that I'm using this on my long session because stuff is everywhere. It's organized chaos. I know where everything is, but it is a bit of a tip. But there's plenty of space to allow me to do so because the official dimensions are 290 centimeters wide, 150 centimeters tall, and 230 centimeters deep. So oceans of room in here. I got my big food bag here, buckets of bait over there, bivy table, bag underneath me, clothes behind. There's just so much space in there. It's a very comfortable stay now. The idea of a brolly system is that it's quicker to put up, lightweight, easy to move around, so you can keep mobile, shorter sessions. But on a longer session like this, plenty of space and it's very comfortable. Now, due to this being a brolly system, it's got a relatively small footprint, especially within relation to how much space you got on the inside. Part of this is also helped by the fact it's got a flat back, so you can push the bed chair as far back as possible. And it sort of, it goes up quite steep at the back and then round to the front. So there's a lot of brolly systems can be much more rounded. This does seem to go up more at the back, giving you a lot more headroom inside, making it feel much more spacious without taking up loads of room outside. Now, luckily I'm in a very open swim, so it's not an issue, but if you're tucked away in a slightly smaller swim, it's not going to be an issue getting this up as it as it might have been with a slightly bigger one-man bivy or something. Now while we're around here, also talking about the material, you've got a 10,000 millimeter hydrostatic head. Now I absolutely lashed it down with rain all day yesterday and I stayed bone dry inside. Same can't be said for some of the items inside, which is purely down to my error because I didn't put in the heavy duty clipping ground sheet. I thought I won't use it this session, but sure enough, a nice little stream of water started coming through the bottom of the uh, shelter. So purely my fault, we got some of my items on the floor wet, but everything else stayed bone dry. And it's quite a thick material as well. I'll show you some clips on the inside. If you shut the door down, the windows down, it gets very, very dark there. Even in pure sunshine like it is today, if you want to get some sleep, you can open up the vents, which I'll get onto in a second, but it also keeps a lot of the sun out, keeping you cooler as well. Round the back, we've got two mozzie mesh vents revealed by a zip. Pull back the flaps either side, roll them up, and you've got elasticated toggles to hold it in place. Just giving you that airflow when you need it on these warmer days where you still want to be inside out the sun, we get some air going through. The front can be zipped on and off in a matter of seconds like I did on Tuesday evening before the rain came in on Wednesday. So I did use this as an open fronted shelter that keeps the weight down, especially if you know it's not going to rain or you're happy using an open fronted shelter. You don't have to take the front with you, but if you want to have more coverage, zips on in, in pretty much about a minute. I think it took me to put it on, peg it out and you're sorted. You can still unpeg this and roll back the sides and clip it to the side if you wish. But if you have them in position like so, you've got three options on the side. You've got a solid panel, which I've currently got toggled up on the elasticated toggles, which then reveals a clear PVC, which is what I've opted for at the moment. Because my pillow is this side where I'm led down, I can still look through and see anything that's happening, whether I hear a fish bosh or my rod beeps or something. I don't have to get up and be uh, exert some energy by moving. I can still see through. But if you want to unzip that, and rev that then reveals a mozzie mesh panel. So if you want, you can have a full mozzie mesh front, full clear front, or solid panel front completely. And you've also got some extra storm poles here which go in place when you put the front on. And there's two storm poles, smaller ones either side, which holds it in place when you don't have the front on. And just to give the rib a bit of extra support, there's a pole that goes from each side storm pole just to give the uh, front a bit more rigidity. Door-wise, you have plenty of options as well. Now, I like to keep mine toggled up all the time just so I can get to my rods as quickly as possible, especially where I'm fishing at the moment. A lot of weed beds out there, so I want to get it from my bed to my rod as quickly as possible. But if you want to have it completely down, unclip these, rolls down and zips into place. So you can see me again. Just zip that down. And once again, like the windows, you can remove the solid panel, roll that up and toggle it in place and have the clear PVC. Another zip reveals the mozzie mesh. So as I said before, you can either have solid green front, clear PVC all on the front, 
or mozzie mesh all on the front. It's completely up to you. There's also two-way zips on the door, so if you want to have a letterbox system, you can do so. Zip it all the way up like I have it, you can. Or, like I said, have the door completely off. Fast forward to the end of the session and I've got the ground sheet in situ. Something I should have done right at the start because it took literally seconds. Six clips and it's in position as it is. Two more clips at the front when you've got the door on. Didn't have to change any of the pegging points, it just simply works. A perfect fitment. Another thing to pick up on is the front here. You've got a little flap which can be kept in place, velcroed shut so the ground sheet is just inside the uh, shelter. If you undo it, flap over, you've then got a little bit of extra ground sheet outside. So if it's quite a muddy swim and you want a bit of extra protection from there, from save it getting all muddy, you can do so and keep it nice and clean. But so uh, yeah, goes in and out very quickly, keeps you more protected. A couple of final points to pick up on, you've got two pegging points on the front, so you can lower down the peak ever so slightly, but if uh, you want it on its highest setting like I have, it just gives you great visibility when you're sat in your bed chair, easy to get in and out without having to bend down too much as well. And you've also got two Velcro rod retaining straps on the front, which makes it much easier when you're re-rigging, getting a rod ready to go back out, or just holding a spare rod or a spod rod on the side ready for use. Now there's also a second skin available for this, so if you want a bit more protection when it comes into the winter, you can pick one of those up, but to be honest, this gives you a lot of protection just as it is and this comes in at 364.99 rrp so for more information on this the uh, second skin or any other products then please head over to current spirit website cheers for watching and i'll see you again soon mm -hmm.